prayer mountain where the eagles are gathering together from different nations to the Shalom prayer mountains where the Lord is building uh, his eagle nest where the eagles can uh, renew the strength and waiting upon the Lord in exchange not renew the strength but exchange the strength they were giving them the weakness and they receive the Papa God's strength they give the loneliness and they and the, the orphan spirit and they receive the spirit of sonship and the spirit of love love of the Father love of the Son and love of the Holy Spirit so with the, the heart of the eyes is enlightened they are able to see and to hear what the, what the Papa God is saying what Jesus Christ is saying what the Holy Spirit is saying and be able to distinguish what is the voice of the Father what is the voice of Jesus Christ what is the voice of the Holy Spirit what is my destiny what is the destiny of my marriage what is the kingdom of God like what is the destiny of my nation what is the destiny of my continents? So here we are to waiting upon the Lord in the exchanging uh, with the Lord and uh, being in His presence, learning Him, being in the glory and resting in the glory and, and soak in the Word of God, soak in prayer, soak in intercession, soak in travailing, soak in teaching, soak in the personal relationship with Papa God and, and, and soak with one another, with joining our hearts to Papa God through His Son, Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit and joining our hearts with our brothers and sisters because we are one body and we need Papa God, we need whichever to establish His kingdom. We cannot do this alone. We need God and we need whichever to walk uh, in one heart, in one accord, in one purpose. As they, did, as they did in the early days in the book of the Acts, they doing the Holy Spirit, restoring everything what the church has been lost and robbed over, restoring now in this rapid time when the Holy Spirit do His work in Jesus' mighty name. So come and, and, and be filled with the Holy Spirit and with the baptism of love in the love of the, your Father who is in heaven. So we pray, Father, let your kingdom come. Amen. Let your will be done here in the Shalom Prayer Mountain as it is in heaven. In Yeshua's name, Jesus Christ's name, amen. amen. From Uganda, I really thank God for the opportunity that uh, God has given us to be in Chiang Mai Prayer Mountain. And uh, this is a place where God is going to visit the different countries, uh, the Asia, Indonesia, and all Europe. Because we believe that uh, God is, will come here and visit His people. We thank God uh, that uh, God has given us the grace to travel through the night. And we have some of our friends from Canada, friends from uh, Australia, including me. I'm so grateful for what God is doing in this land because He's raising egos. He's raising giants at the land. He's raising the people to stand on behalf of the land. And He's raising the new generation that will redeem the generation to take the kingdom of God to another level. So we are so grateful for what God is doing through our friend, Pastor Peter, and together with his wife, Sarah. We bless them, we pray for them, and we believe that God is going to bless them so much. Give them everything that they need because they are, st they are standing on the ground to proclaim the goodness of God, to restore the heart, to restore the king, to restore the priesthood in the land, to restore everything that the enemy has taken away from this land. So we are so grateful and we have here to declare that this is going to be the land of God where the people will come and have their race judges because God had faith for them to have this land, the land the enemy wanted to steal, to steal away the land. But God helped them and the land was restored. So we we are so grateful. Amen. We know that all the souls of the millions of people around the world, they will come here and so be blessed in Jesus' name. So God bless you, nation. God bless you, Uganda. God bless you, Jerusalem. God bless you, Canada. God bless you, Australia. God bless you. Peace of Elohim rest upon you in Jesus' Amen. mighty name. Amen. I'm Alicia from Austria. I'm friends with Peter and friends with Larry, and I'm very grateful to have met Richard from. Uganda is a gift from God to encourage us, to, to lift us up in the spirit. We have met uh, Ken and Dawn from Canada. It's, not, uh, it's all by purpose of God. And we are, I'm so excited to see what he is doing, not what we are doing, but he's doing it through us. 
So as we are learning to walk in the spirit, as we are learning to grow deeper in love, to, to, to be rooted in love, the spirit uh, will, is working and the spirit is working here mightily. There is a great destiny upon this place, a great destiny upon all the people who have come here. And, and this is uh, an amazing place, the prayer mountain. So we encourage everybody who is having the, 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 the hunger in the heart to experience more of God, come here link up with us and you're going to experience a touch and you will never be the same when the presence of God is comes and rests on you and, and your heart will be enlarged in the love of God. Ken Thank and you. Don from Canada. We came to visit uh, Don's brother Larry who lives in Uganda and we're uh, in Thailand. Uh, Uganda? No, we're not in Uganda. We're in Thailand. Thailand, special place. <laughs> Because we met someone from Uganda who has spoken into our destiny. Uh, we experience much more than we expect coming here. We have uh, an expectation of spending some good time, which we have with my brother-in-law and sister-in-law. And yet God has connected us with amazing people to uh, do more than we expected. So God has blessed us and is going to bless Canada. We are, we have, I have especially experienced, uh, I believe, a touch on my life for fruitfulness. Fruitfulness for the nation, for my, my, my life, our life, our ministry, and where, we, where God has placed us. In our little town, in our little church, in Saskatchewan, in Canada, and to the uttermost parts of the earth. Amen. I came to see my brother, but I met many brothers in Christ and I'm so grateful for the impartation we have received and we are going home writing a new chapter with a new beginning and I trust, I've been praying for the power of the resurrection to come upon us and I believe we are going to go home in a new power uh, of the resurrection of the risen Jesus Christ. Amen. Um, from Canada, but actually I live in Thailand for 29 years. I'm thankful that I could come here with Peter and uh, a team of six people, a sister and brother from Uganda, brother from Austria. We praise God that he is bringing us in unity and this prayer mountain is a place where we can come together to pray in unity and to see God change the hearts of the nations and of Thailand. And so we pray that this will happen and we believe it is happening. Thank you, Lord. Hello, my name is David, and I'm from Switzerland. And I'm here with my dear brother, Peter and Larry. And we had a prayer night here. And I just can tell you one thing. The fear of the Lord is coming back to the church. And he's going to pour out his seven spirits of God upon all the ones who prepare their hearts for him, for our love, for Jesus. And I'm here to proclaim it and to challenge you, get ready, for the Lord is coming with power and majesty. Amen. What God is requesting you separate yourself because your, your destiny is greater than where you are. But as long as you separate yourself, you will give Him a, a platform, He will renew you, He will empower you more than before in order for you to carry on with this land. As long as you die to yourself, nothing good can come out. So that's what He's requesting. He's requesting you to die to yourself. To be available for him you had to give it to him everything as you you die i shared with you last time that what we call a sacrifice something must die in order for something to have life so as long as you die to yourself you become a sacrifice that will redeem this land that will take this land to another level He 
has come to restore the broken hearted. It's time to.